Hey, I'm Benjamin and I'm taking you on a tour to rediscover the neighborhood of Woodlands. Welcome to Woodlands. Woodlands is essentially my second home. I grew up in Woodlands. I was the um, I was in a pioneering batch in the Singapore Sports School. And the sports school is a boarding school. So essentially I spent all my childhood here. And then I went to Poly in Woodlands as well. So that's pretty much all of my younger years. And Causeway Point is my hangout spot. You see all sorts of wonderful, wonderful people and from all walks of life in Woodlands. It's just a really fun place to be and I can't wait to show you around my second home. Hey, thank you boss. Thank you, thank you. I'm here at Marsling Mall Hawker Centre at one of the most famous stalls in this area. It's Yanti Seafood Soup. Now, they've been in business for over 30 years with a crazy following all over Singapore. They are hawker influencers and they're second generation owners, so they're a big deal. Let's check out what's in the stock. We have, um, we got scallops, as Gordon Ramsay would say. We got abalone, there's a large fresh prawns and very generous offerings of minced meat. This broth is insane and if you want to get your hands on this insane stock, you're gonna have to be a bit more kiasu because this stock is very limited. They run out almost every single day. In fact, they're out of crayfish today because I'm late. That's how famous they are. Welcome to Woodlands Terrace. This stretch of road is home to many wholesale food retailers, including Bangawan Solo, Boon Dong Ki, Fesla, Fragrance. But we're going to my personal favorite. I'm gonna show you in a second. Come on. We are at Malvados, dude. I am super, super excited to be here. Malvados is under Singapore-based manufacturer Food Edge Gourmet. What they do here is they sell gourmet items at wholesale price and they distribute to country clubs, cafes, airlines, all over Singapore. And there's everything here for your next party. It's Onde Onde Brittle. Onde Onde is my favorite, so I'm just gonna, just gonna pick a couple more for now. There's lava cake, there's pesto sauce, they've got all sorts of cookies. Bacon sausage wrap, they got everything here for your next party, as I said. Check it out. Hello from the edge of Woodlands. I've got my good morning towel, I've got my bucket, I've got some eggs. We can only be at Sembawang Hot Spring Park, Singapore's only hot spring park located at the junction of Gambas Avenue and Sembawang Road. Now, it was recently refurbished and reopened in 2020. Let's go cook some eggs, man. The water comes out at 70 degrees. Perfect for a breakfast. Let's give it a shot. Those are my babies. Now, this place actually has quite a bit of history involved. In 1921, it was acquired by f and Group and some of the water was actually bottled and sold. And in World War II, the Japanese actually converted this place into a thermal bath. I'm ready for my thermal bath. I'm gonna get my feet dipped in. You bad boys are gonna have a good time. Now you have two options at the Sambawang Hot Spring Park. All right, one is uh, sit over here and collect water from one of these water points, like that. Or you can head over to the cascading pool and have a little dip. Here at the Cascading Pool, the water has varying degrees, starting from the top to the bottom from 70 and 40 degrees. And because I'm a novice, I'm going to start at the 40. This jetty is crazy epic. It's the longest jetty in Singapore. It's 400 meters and it sits at the edge of the Straits of Johor. So that's Johor Bahru over there, an unobstructed view. It's beautiful at sunrise and sunset. And if you haven't seen a country in a long time because of COVID, nah, JB. Hello. I can smell the herbal bakute from here. I want it. I need it. Now. It's the part of the video where we bring you to the five-star accommodations, also known as the abandoned World War II Marceling bunkers. Guys, this is the main entrance. I'm not even kidding. But thankfully, I'm not doing this alone today. I have with me three very, very experienced scouts and guides. Scott, Kat, and Shun. Tell me a bit about the bunkers history. What has happened here? So um, these bunkers have been constructed in 1940s during World War II, and it was built by the British. And uh, yeah, this bunker was meant to store fuel for the Royal Air Force. Right. So right now it has been abandoned for more than 80 years. 
Welcome to the Tunnel of Doom. Ta ta! Okay. Oh, yeah. I've seen this in like so many video games, dude. It's like, this is where you shouldn't go. This is the side quest that will take like five days. All right. Wow. I like what you've done in the place. Check out all that good stuff. Oh, look at that. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Can I put some eggs? So we're gonna descend um, two stories down, okay? And once we are, I think once we are here, you get completely zero reception already. Actually, the air is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It's not as um, as warm as I thought it'd be. So over here on my left, we have the um, first fuel tank, Ooh. which is labeled as number five. Broken pipes. It's quite nice. Whoa! Your audio influencers, if you want your ultimate. Influencer and the wild shot. There are about a hundred gecko kids living around here somewhere. This is the ultimate spa experience right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Okay, it's, this is literally the workout of my life. This beats are so. Uh, yo, this is influencer heaven, man. Hello, you gross little things. Thank you for rediscovering the neighborhood of Woodlands with me. See you again soon. Oh, okay, let's go this way out. Boy, 